All right. Test, 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 test. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing this Mayono microphone that I've been using for the past few months. So in September 2019, I unboxed this microphone and I used it a little bit, but I have never actually reviewed it despite my usage of the microphone over the past year over on my gaming channel and my recent use on my main channel. So I think it is about time to review this microphone. So what comes in the box? There's the user manual, and then there's the windscreen filter, which minimizes the wind from your voice whenever you say plosives, puh, buh, sounds. There's a pop filter that does almost the, kind of the same thing, and I have it on right here. There's the stand, which is this thing. It's, it's quite nice. And then there's the clamp, which attaches to your desk. And then there's the shock mount. And then there's the type B to type A USB connector. And then the microphone itself. So, what's the build quality? For this price point, I saw some reviewers be impressed that this microphone was not made of a cheap plastic, but it was actually made with metal. But the actual kit itself wasn't as high of build quality as the microphone, which is to be expected. The clamp is at risk of scratching your desk, and the shock mount really doesn't do that much. But overall, really great build quality, especially for the fact that the microphone comes with the kit at all for the price point. Now, what are the specs of the microphone? The microphone has a pretty good frequency response from 30 hertz to 16 kilohertz, and this is the graph of the frequency response. Sure, it doesn't cover the entire spectrum of 20 to 20,000 hertz, but would anyone really notice? The mic is a little bass heavy in my experience, which I think is a good thing because it has that podcasty warm tone to it. It also has insane recording capabilities with a bit depth of 24 bit, and it also has a sample rate of 192 kilohertz, which is many, many, many times over the actual maximum frequency that your ears can actually hear. What? It is a side address microphone, so when you speak into the top of it like this, you won't get the best sound quality, but you have to speak into the side with the logo to get the best audio quality. It doesn't have a mute button or a headphone jack, but I find myself pretty okay without those features because I can just do this to make my microphone quieter and audio monitoring can easily be turned on in OBS Studio. Yeah, you- what's up? You know what's up? <laughs> yeah, you can hear two of me now. Well, what does the microphone sound like? Well, I think you already know, since you've actually been hearing the audio coming out of this microphone for the entire time, which is nice. And, um, you can give your opinion in the comments as well, which would be nice. So what are my thoughts? This is a really solid microphone, especially for its price point. And I have also seen people say it sounds the same or even better than their other microphone, which broke down and or bought this as a replacement. I must add that this microphone uses the Realtek drivers, which is nice, but it only records in mono, which means that the mic only records in one channel and therefore isn't binaural. But it's fine since you don't really need a stereo microphone unless you do things that require a stereo microphone setup. Would I recommend this mic? Sure. Do keep in mind that I got this in November of 2019 and there has been a chip shortage since then. So if you buy one yourself, yours may sound louder and or more distorted than mine. But yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you love to, please subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!